Happy holidays, Scorpio. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your December 2018 mini tarot reading. Before I begin, I'd like to just thank you so much for supporting me this year by liking, sharing, and subscribing to my YouTube channel, and also for blessing me with the readings that personal readings that I have done for you. And also, I'd like to wish from my house to yours happy holidays. And with that said, Scorpio, let's get started and see what's coming up for you in December. 2018, I can't believe it. The year is just about gone. Where did it go? Went by really fast this year. So let's take a look here and see what's coming for Scorpio. Wow. Okay. Let's see. Let's put the rest of these out real quick. Okay. Well, it looks like you've been waiting for an answer from somebody or several people, and it looks like those answers are going to come. I feel this is in a partnership or husband, something like that, love maybe, wife, I don't know, just from your partner. And they have difficulty speaking up for some reason, but I think you're going to get answers, verbal answers and paper written answers. I don't know, just answers you're expecting or wanting are going to be coming to you this month. Also, it says improvement in your money. Whatever you've been doing with your money, it's working. So keep doing doing that. It says that you might only have a small nest egg now, but it's going to grow really quite nicely for you. And also stand up for yourself regarding money. You're no fool. Um, in your business or your work or your job, it looks like you're going to have more than enough money. It says you've been working really hard. You're getting ready to make a couple of choices about work or finances possibly or even i don't know i mean, it's, it's work or finances you're going to make the right choice try not to fear because it says you will be sh whatever choice you make is going to help you it says no choice no change if there's no change things are not going to improve that that quickly for you it says spirit help is around you and you know that from before Maybe you're waking up at 3.15, 3.16, or whatever time it is. I feel spirit is coming to visit you, or your prayers are also being heard here. So remember that what you ask for is coming. You're strong, and you're going to continue moving forward. Looks like some travel you want to do is definitely coming, or you may even be consider moving, which will be um, something that you discuss with somebody, even if they don't want to. It looks like you might make those plans anyway. It says you, it looks like travel for the holidays for you. Make sure everything's in order, your car or your airline tickets, train, however you're traveling, just make sure you have everything you need so there's no surprises along the way. It says if you're waiting for some legal papers from somebody or they've promised them to you, you might have to push them a little bit, but you're gonna get what, you, what you're requesting. Okay, and it says that's going to come to you within two months, two weeks, two something. I feel it's two months, but it says also there's going to be gaiety in the midst of change. Things go up and down, up and down. And it says, too, that someone's not listening to you, and it's really aggravating you. I don't know if it's a family member, a love interest, or even work, but something, that's going to change. Something they're going to, and please don't be an I told you so person, because they're not going to want to hear it. But it says you're right about what you're working on. It says that feeling of being alone, something about that's going to change too. Messages this month are going to be real important. Phone, email, mailbox, whatever. Make sure you check your messages. It says there's joy coming for you. Are you ready? Also abundance. Okay, in abundance, everyone, myself included, usually goes to prosperous money. Could be that, but it could even be more than that. It could be bliss. It could be joy. It could be sometimes even doing ease says what you're working on, don't give your power away. Okay, I feel that's in business or something you're working on. Don't be talked out of something. And don't remember to value your assets or what you have to offer. Don't, uh, don't cut yourself so short that all your work is really for pennies when it really should be for hundreds of dollars or, or something like that. Also says that what you've prayed for is right before you. You are a chariot, one who achieves greatness. And it says if someone has been telling you they're going to do something and they haven't, again, this is like the third time I'm hearing this, have them, um, <laughs> have them do what they say or explain why they're not doing it. You, you actually do have that. You should have that comfort or the reasoning behind it. But it says, don't let, because of another person, your wants, wishes, and daydreams, poof, disappear. Make this um, choices you make this month about you. You're going to be here. This has been yeah, probably because it's holidays. You're going to be hearing from family or friends that you haven't heard from in a while. But also it says that 
don't hold on to something of value like love, money, whatever it is. What it, you're holding it so tight it'll disappear. You have to be able to let things flow. New beginnings in the springtime here it's showing. New opportunities, what you're waiting for. You have the Wheel of Fortune, which is one who achieves greatness too. Kind of like the um, chariot. I heard that whatever you're working on here, what you've been waiting for, keep going with it because it's going to prosper. It's going to be prosperous for you if you're in business. Alms dispensed with justice. You'll have the money that you need. It says your excuses will be gone now. It's time for you to have victory. Look back to how you got to where you are today, and there's not going to be a whole lot of surprises in that area for you. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. Thank you again for your support all year. Happy holidays from my house to yours, Scorpio, and I'll see you again next month.